Hello everyone. In this video, we'll show you how to debug and apply a bug fix to the source code of a contract. To validate if the fix works as intended, we'll use a simulator to dry run a transaction on the modified smart contract before redeploying it. We'll be working with a smart contract representing a tic-tac-toe game that's deployed on a testnet. Here on the transactions list page, we can see several failed transactions sent to the tic-tac-toe contract. For the purpose of this demo, we'll pick this one, which was a failed call, to the join game function that allows players to join the game. Next, let's click on the transaction hash to inspect what went wrong. We can see that the join game function accepts one argument, the game ID. If the player tries to join a game that doesn't exist, the transaction will revert. Here's the line of code that caused the transaction to fail. The require statement only checks if the game ID is equal to the number of created games. This means that the player can only enter the latest game. This is clearly a bug, so instead of the equality operator, we'll change it to less than or equal to. Of course, we need to verify that this fix will work as intended. We can do this in two ways. The slower way, which involves updating the code and redeploying the smart contract or the faster way by running a simulation on the updated code to verify the fix. First, click on the Resimulate button to load the transaction into Simulator, and then click on the Edit Contract Source button. Find the line of code that we know has the bug. And here it is. Let's change the operator sign to less than or equal to and click the Apply Changes button. Lastly, click Simulate to dry run the transaction with the updated source code. Once the simulation is complete, the simulated transaction overview will give you information about the status, functions called, inputs, call trace, and so on. Since this simulation was successful, the bug fix works as expected. Of course, in case of failure, we can continue debugging by following similar troubleshooting steps. If you want to explore other ways to integrate debugger and simulator into your workflows, be sure to check the documentation linked in the description for more use cases and examples. You can contact us at support at tenderly.co if you have any questions, want to share feedback or need help getting started. Thanks for watching.